Welcome back to NurseNet Numeracy, the free-to-use online maths tutorial course designed for nurses. Some medications, particularly for children, may be prescribed according to that person's body weight, or kilograms. Now, to work out how much of the drug we should give a patient based on their weight, we will require two elements of information. Number one, the prescribed dose per kilogram and the weight of the patients in kilogram. The dosage is given in terms of drug concentration to patient's weight. So you will see this as a prescribed dose written as milligrams dash kg, which effectively means the number of milligrams per kilogram to the patient's weight. So our formula is prescribed dose per kilogram multiplied by the total patient weight. So the heavier the patient, the more milligrams of the drug that will be given to that patient. So let's do an example. Two milligrams per kilogram of a drug is required in a single dose. The patient is a child in this case and weighs 18 kilograms. How many milligrams will you give? Well, it's a fairly straightforward calculation, but let's do this as though we're sitting our drugs calculation test without a calculator. So we'll need to break this calculation down. Remember, our formula is prescribed dose per kilogram multiplied by total patient weight. So we can break the number down by their place value. So if the child weighs 18 kilograms, we have a one whose place is in the tens and an eight in the units column. Since the dosage is two milligrams per kilogram, we can multiply two by 10 to give us 20, then two by eight, which gives us 16, add them together to give us our answer of 36 milligrams. Let's do another. A child weighing 32 kilograms is prescribed 3.5 milligrams of the drug per kilogram. How much should we give the child? Well, looking at the information given and using our formula of prescribed dose per kilogram multiplied by total patient weight, we can input the figures into it like so. 3.5 milligrams per kilogram multiplied by the patient weight, which is 32 kilograms. Again, let's look at the place value of each number, where we have a 3.5 milligrams with a three in the units column and a 0 0.5 in the tenths column. And for the weight, we have a three in the tens column and a two in the unit columns. So let's draw this out as a grid with weight along the top and dosage down the side. So let's multiply them together. So we have three multiplied by 30, giving us a 90. 3 multiplied by 2, giving us 6. Now moving on to the decimals. We have 0 0.5 multiplied by 30, which gives us 15. And 0 0.5 multiplied by 2, which gives us a 1. Now add them all together. 90 plus 6 plus 15 plus 1 equals 112 milligrams total dosage. OK, now do the dose by weight test on NurseNet Numeracy. Remember, you can find lots more maths help at www.nursenet.uk or if you're looking for your next career move in nursing, do check out our jobs board.